Well, good to see you. Um, just another tough defeat. Um, speaking the same tune each and every week. I thought that um, um, our guys, they, they, they played hard. I feel really bad for them. They were very de dejected in the locker room. Um, effort was outstanding. Execution um, in certain phases of the game was not, was not very good. And, um, and then at the end of the game, we, we made a few critical errors that, um, that allowed them to, to, to score some points there in the fourth quarter. But, um, you know, I thought all in all, you defensively, we played well enough to win. You hold a team to 17 points. Um, um, you, you would hope that you could score 18, and offensively, we played really well in the first half, even though we didn't score many points. And then the second half, we, um, it, it just goes back. We just, we don't have, um, everybody's kind of just sitting on our screen game. They won't let us run the ball, and we don't have anybody that can push the ball down the field right now. So it, it's very difficult um, moving, the, moving the football um, when that happens, and this, um, I guess this is my 14th year of coaching, and this is the second time that's ever happened to me during the course of a season. Uh, and it's very difficult because each week you, you try to dial up an offense to, to try to, to get something going. So, um, but again, you got to, you know, they won the game, and um, we got to move forward. We got opportunity this week, circle the wagons up. We play um, Eastern Kentucky, a team that um, we hadn't beaten since 04, hadn't beaten at home since 1999, and um, two and 11 against in the last 13 years. So um, it'd be a big feather in our cap to be able to knock them off, finish the season at six and six with a little bit of momentum going into the off season. Questions? Didn't notice anything, but injury-wise, you come out okay this week? Um, well, a lot of it's still to be determined as the week progresses. Um, you know, in, in the game, and I, and I feel really bad for our offensive staff. You know, we, we lost Walter the week before, um, so we moved a bunch of guys around um, to different positions. Janowski Davis, um, him and Jeremy Harness, they know every position. And um, so we, we played Janowski. Um, at, at both outside receiver positions in the game. He played, was, made two great catches, um, and then he goes down with an injury um, there in the, in the second quarter, and um, the only thing he could do was go back there and fair catch punts for us. He couldn't run them, and, um, and we, I had to beg him to do that because we were, of course, Walters, our punt returner, so we kind of ran out of guys out there. Um, we actually thought about putting C.J. Bennett, our third team QB in at receiver one time, just to put somebody out there. Um, but he's 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 probably out this week, um, and so that you know that, that again that puts us in a puts us in a, a more difficult bind. Um, um, of course, Walters out. Quay Huzzy will be game time, or we'll decide here this week. I even I brought the injury report, so I didn't leave any out. Chapman's out. Ross is out. Harrington's out, and um, and then um, Parts Frazier got injured in the game, and um, right now he's questionable. Um, whether he'll be able to play Saturday or not. We won't know that till probably um, tomorrow um, afternoon, whether he can, wh whether he'll be able to suit up. You had said after the game you thought fatigue maybe factored in a little bit to the second half. Did you, that show up on film? Just no, that? nah, that, I don't think that, that was, you, you know, you guys, you asked questions right after the game right. and without me seeing it, but that, that didn't come into play. Um, you know, I did. I thought our defense was on the field way too long. I mean, you know, and a um, and, and couple times maybe it was their fault giving up a couple, but a lot of times it was offense getting three and outs. You know, we were 0 for 10 on third down conversions, and it's very difficult to, to win when you're, when you're that poor on the third down. Um, at the end of the game, we gave up. We, we had two bad plays on defense, and that ended up allowing them to score. Um, and other than that, um, you know, the, probably the ball game could have been at 10 to 3 because we were playing really, really good defense. We did play really, really good defense, but um, it, you know, it, boy, if we just two plays there, we, 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 we fit the wrong gap and, it, and they end up getting a big play off of it. Oh, well, I don't, yeah, I mean, it, I think it's not necessarily the, the, the fourth quarter. I think it's just pretty much the whole game. I mean, you know, we're, we're getting excited when we get first downs. Um, you know, we're kind of pumped. And, you know, we had one nice drive. And, um, 
there at the end. And, and, and what, what people, you know, they, I mean, they find out, I mean, you know, we, when we throw the screens out there, um, there, there's stuff in those. We don't have anybody out there to really make a big play since Walter's gone now. Um, they pack the box in there, pin the ears back, and we can't get much of a running game. And, you know, you go to, you know, you go to any offense in the country, um, you look at Oregon as prolific as they are, when they can't throw screens and can't run the ball, they're in trouble, and that's what's happened to us. And it frustrates the defense because you said they had such a great game, you're up 10 to 3. Um, well, I don't know if it frustrates the defense. I, you know, I think, um, in, you know, in, in football, it's the ultimate team game. Um, you know, I, I'll, I'll say this, there's been many a times that the offense has bailed the defense out more times than not in, in ball games. And the other night, the defense played really well. But, you know, it's like I tell our team this, the defense's job is to hold them to one less point than the other team, I mean, than the offense scores. And the offense's job is to score one more point than the defense gives up. And that's the, you know, that, that's, that's the goal of football. So as far as frustrating because of their, the, you know, the offense didn't produce, there's none of that. Talk about how tough it is for the defense to, you know, when, you're, when you know the offense is not performing the way that you want it, having to hold on as long as you have to. Um, well, I, I mean, I don't look at it that way. I understand what, you, what you're asking. I, I don't look at it that way. I mean, you know, the defense's job, their job is to go out there and not let them score. And the offense's job is to let them go, I mean, is to go score as many points as you possibly can. And, um, and, and as a, for a football player, your job is to focus on your job. You don't worry about what those other guys doing because you have no control over that. So at the end of the day, you know, defense, they got to worry about them. They got to play the best they can play. Offense got to play the best they play. And the special teams have to play the best they can play. There is no, well, the, we, we did our part today. You know, it, it, at the end of the day, it's, it's a team game and, and everybody has to do their job in order to be successful. Can you give a quick update on Navarre? And if you don't have him, without him, Walter, Janowski, some of the younger receivers are going to have to step up in those guys' places. Yeah, he, he will not play this week. Um, and, and so what we'll, what we'll probably end up doing is um, you'll, you'll see Mitch Stoltz, who we, we played him just a little bit early in the year. He's been a backup um, on a lot of the special teams in, in this year. And, you know, we really thought Mitch was going to come along and provide a lot of depth and some things happened and he ain't played much since the very beginning of the season. So um, he'll get a little bit um, more of a role in, in the ball game this week. And, um, and, and, and out um, and, and wide we'll play Kandarian Jennings, um, who, who's, I think he's maybe played two snaps since he's been here. So he'll be the backup to Paul out there at the Z position. So there'll be um, two guys there that, that hadn't played much. He'll get a chance to go in. And they're going to have to play some. They're going to have to go in there and show us what they can do. How do you match up this week uh, with Eastern Kentucky in terms of your defense? Good matchup with Tennessee State, but what about EJ? Um, I think EKU's defense is, is always one of the tops in the conference. And, and you know, I, I think, um, you know, other than maybe Eastern Illinois and Jack, I, I say they rank up with Eastern Illinois, Jacksonville State's defenses. And um, they're really, really talented. They're really physical up front. You know, we've always had a hard time blocking them. Um, offensively, they're a little bit like us. You know, they're um, each week doing just a little new wrinkle or something, just trying to find some rhythm um, to Gideon and, you know, and, and, and you know, listening and watching them, they, they're very similar to us. They just, they don't have a whole lot going for them right now. Um, so, I, but I'm hoping that our offense is kind of like golf. You know, in golf, you, you could play bad for 17 holes and then that 18th hole, you hit a couple good shots, it makes you want to come back and play some more. I'm hoping this week that we're able to hit a few good shots and, and feel good about ourselves on the offense. And what's the good about, you know, injuries are bad, but at least these players are getting some experience. Talk about them getting that and using that and going on to your program in the next season. So what's going on? Um, or is it good? No, it, it's not good. I mean, we, you know, it, it, it diminishes some things that we can do. But right now we're having a hard time enough moving the ball. And then when you lose some of your playmakers out there, um, you know, trying to find some things that they can do well. Um, in the confines of, of, of the offense. And, um, and, and that's probably been the biggest challenge that, that we've had as an offensive staff is each week trying to figure out, all right, look, we're doing this well, let's expand on it. And, 
you know, just trying to piecemeal enough together to go out there and, um, you know, hopefully strike gold and, and have some big plays come our way. So, um, but the big thing is, you know, those guys, Paul and Jeremy Harness, Jordan Morrow, Pokey Harris, Jesse Blackburn, I mean, those guys have got to step up big this week and play a whole lot of snaps more than they're used to playing. When you're limited by your personnel, the way that you are due to injuries, and you have to change the scheme a little bit, you mentioned trying to find things that those guys do well. Is that what you look to do instead of, you know, being creative with the schemes or um, it, you focus on the abilities of the players that you have available to you? Well, well, you, I mean, you do that all the time. I mean, you, you know, you have a, you, you know, we have a core offense that we believe in. Okay, and that's to play up tempo, a lot of quick passes, um, you know, quick runs up the middle. They come up, you know, have some different things that we push the ball down the field with. So we got our core. But each year you have to, you have to tailor that that to what you do well. You know. Um, for instance, if you know we got Jalen Harrington late, we you know about midway through the year we moved him to offense. Um, Jesse Blackburn is just starting to come along a little bit, you know. So with those two guys next year, you'll see us use more tight ends because we finally got some tight ends. You know, we'll run the same plays. It's just we we'll use we'll have little different sets and different ways of of getting to those plays. So, um, but now when you're depleted like we are, um, you know we we didn't. We've tried it all, man. We've tried to be creative. Some, it doesn't look very creative, but, uh, but we have. We've, we've tried that. Uh, we've moved guys around. Um, you know, the bottom line is we just, we, we just don't, you know, we don't have that, that playmaker that we can push the ball down the field to. And, um, and then everybody just, they load the box up, they sit on the screens out there, and when we can't run and we can't throw screens, we're in trouble, and that's what's kind of happened to us. Can you talk about some of the things defensively you've tried to do with CK and they're having some struggles? Um, well, we got to stop the run. You know, they're going to come in, they're going to run the power running game at you, and, um, and we, it, it all starts there. And, um, you know, again, at the end of the day, you know, football, no matter how many yards you throw the ball for or how fancy you get and all that kind of stuff, at the end of the day, you got to better run the ball and you got to better stop the run. And that's what, that's what it boils down. And, um, and, you know, the other night we stopped the run really well there into that last two drives. They got a couple big plays on us and, um, and you know, we can't run the ball at all right now. So that, that's, that's our biggest issue.